Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm super excited to share you my ultimate closet essentials that every fashion lover needs. These must-have basics are currently my personal favorites as they're good quality, versatile, timeless, and can be mixed and matched to create a variety of looks. I know it can be hard to find good basics that don't break the bank, so I really wanted to share the gems I found lately with you. I will link everything I can in the description box if you're interested in any of these pieces. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. So let's start with crop tanks. A trendy and versatile piece that's perfect for all these hot summer days. We kind of see them everywhere now, especially the round neck ones. And I love them because they're great for pairing with high-waisted bottoms. I found these two tanks at Zara and they're really, really nice. This black one was only $10 and all the prices I'm giving you are in Canadian dollars, by the way. And there were many, many colors available. The quality is nice. It's a ripped fabric that's a little bit stretchy, but not too much, which I like because it will hold its shape even after throwing it in the wash a couple of times. However, I did not take the white one in the same model because the white one was kind of see-through and I really wanted a good quality one that was thick enough. That's why I went for this one that's really similar in shape but different. As you can see, the tank is not see-through at all and I really love the quality. It was a little bit more expensive, around $25, but it's still reasonable. The only thing though is that the fabric is a little bit on the rough and rigid side compared to the other one, but I still like it because I had a really hard time finding a good quality white tank top. Speaking of white pieces, I also ordered a square net crop tank from Aritzia, part of their famous sculpt knit collection that I love. I unfortunately can't show it to you right now because they didn't have my size in store, so I had to order it and I didn't receive it yet. But if I do, by the time I upload this video, I will insert a clip of me wearing it or I will find some other photos or videos to show you. Anyway, as I said, good white pieces are so hard to find because most of them are see-through and not thick enough, so I have to admit I had to splurge a little bit on this one. The tank was $58, but to be honest, it didn't even compare to all the tanks I ever tried. It's super thick, stretchy, and absolutely zero see-through. Also, the cut and the way it hugs my chest is so flattering, so absolutely zero regrets on this one. And I think it will last me a very long time with good care. And lastly, in tank tops, I got this black square neck and this striped round neck I'm wearing from H&M. They remind me a lot of the first Zara one I showed you. It's that same red fabric that's a little bit stretchy. I would have bought them at Zara if I had found these models, but I didn't, or at least not in store. Because surprisingly, they were cheaper at Zara. Like these two tanks I bought at H&M were $15 each compared to $10 at Zara. But it's still very affordable for the quality, so 100% recommend. So next, I wanted to talk to you about another top I ordered from Aritzia that's basically the same thing as the white tank, but it's a crop tee. So like the tank, I don't have it with me yet, but I will insert a clip if I receive it. This one was also a little bit expensive at $68, but again, no other tee compared, so for the quality, I bought it. Also, I wanted to mention that I did size up for this one. I usually wear a size small in tops, but because I have quite broad shoulders and this top was really tight and sculpted, Thing. It was a little bit too tight on the shoulder area, so I got a medium. I didn't buy the black one though because I thought it would be easier to find this somewhere else at a more reasonable price. However, no such luck yet, so if ever you have any suggestion, let me know in the comments. I'm basically looking for a crop tee with a rib fabric and a square neckline that's thick and stretchy. Continuing with the next basic must-have, plain tees. A plain t-shirt is an absolute wardrobe essential as it's the foundation for countless outfits. It's a versatile face that you can dress up or down for different occasions, going from a casual day out to a more polished look. I found this basic black and white crew neck tee at Uniqlo and I'm telling you, you need them. The best basic tees I found hands down. The fabric is thick and soft and I love the well-defined color. I just know these tees will last me a long time and they won't become all weird and distorted after washing them. Even the look of them is really nice and refined. I'm so happy I found these. 
I also sized up in the medium on this one because I kind of wanted like a more looser fit. But if you want a more fitted look, stick to your size. And the good news is there are only 20 dollars and I even got mine on sale at 15. And yeah, I know you might think 15, 20 dollars is kind of expensive for a plain white tee because I used to think that not so long ago. But I bought countless tees that were less than 10 dollars and they were all either see-through, very thin, didn't hold their shape after washing them, or after wearing them a few times they looked kind of really old because of the cheap fabric. So trust me on this one, a well-invested $20 will last you a long time and make you save money in the long run. Another super useful basics are bodysuits. They are incredibly versatile and they create a sleek, tucked in look. These pieces are perfect for layering or giving you a polished and put together outfit effortlessly. My current favorites are these bodysuits from Amazon from a brand called Pumi. I have a few different ones as you can see, like this square neck long sleeve one, this round neck tank one, this mock neck sleeveless one, and this square neck with kind of a little sleeve. These are just a few models, but they have many styles and colors available on their website. This brand went viral on social media because girls were saying they're the best Kim's do. I personally never tried Kim's bodysuits, but these ones for Amazon are truly amazing. They are buttery soft, super stretchy, and it's comfy to wear all day. Plus, it's double lined everywhere, so it's not see-through at all. The Poopy store is available on Amazon US, but they do deliver in Canada, and they're all around $35 to $40 Canadian. I think it's a pretty good deal because I bought other bodysuits that were more expensive and didn't even compare to the quality of these ones, so I think it's really worth it. Next, let's talk about the flowy white button-down shirt. A classic and timeless spring and summer piece that's actually really trendy right now. Whether you're going for a more professional look or a casual outfit, it can be dressed up when you pair it with trousers or down with jeans or shorts. The current trend is to just throw it over a pair of jeans or shorts and a crop tank to create a cute and elevated casual look. This combo is honestly one of my most go-to outfit because you can mix and match a lot of the pieces you have to create new outfits every time. So that's why the white button-down shirt is a must for me. The one I have here is from Shein, so apparently it's not like the best quality, but I like it a lot and for $20, it's kind of great. It's airy and flowy and just the right amount of oversize, so it's a perfect cover-up. It's a little bit see-through though, so if you intend to wear it just as a top, you will have to wear a nude bra for a seamless look. So when it comes to jeans, straight leg jeans are a true wardrobe staple. They're flattering and whatever the current jeans trend is, whether it's super skinny or super baggy, they will always remain a classic. I discovered this one from Abercrombie called the Ultra High Rise 90 Straight Jeans and I'm truly obsessed with them. The cut, the quality, the feel of them are just perfect and they look good on everyone. They're super popular on Instagram. I see a lot of girls from different shapes, sizes and height wear them and they look fire on everyone. I also love that Abercrombie sizes are more and more inclusive now. They have a large scale of waist size but also different lengths going from extra short to extra long and they even have a line for women with curvier hips called Curve Love. You might be surprised but I actually bought my jeans from the Curve Love section because I go to the gym and I work up a lot so my thighs and my booty are well present compared to my waist let's say. So I often have this problem with jeans where they will either fit my hips area but will be too big on the waist, leaving a sort of annoying gap in the back, or if I take my right waist side, well, the jeans just won't go past my booty. So yeah, absolutely love these jeans. I went for the classic medium wash blue and this off-white, but they do it in many, many colors and styles. So definitely check their website. I'm sure you will find something you like. Prices vary depending on the model, but they're all around $100. If you want to elevate your outfit without even thinking about it, you need a good pair of tailored trousers. These are perfect to add a touch of elegance to your overall look, whether you're going for a more formal or business wear or 
casual look. I have my two go-tos here, the classic effortless pants from Aritzia. You may already know them because they're super popular and with recent, but if not, they're like the ultimate trousers in my opinion. I have other ones in my wardrobe and I tried many many different ones, but no other pants compared to the look and the elegant design of these ones. The only thing to keep in mind that's a little bit weird is the sizing of the pants. I got a size 4 shorts in both, but look at the size difference. The white ones fits me so well, but the black ones are way too loose, so I either have to put a belt on or I clip like a safety pin a little bit further so I can clip it further down. And I couldn't take the twos on these ones because they were way too tight. But anyway, it's not that dramatic, I just wanted to mention it so you keep it in mind to try on the pants. Because they are from Aritzia, they are a little bit on the expensive side at $148. But the quality, the look, and the feel are here. They are classic pants that you will be able to keep for a long time if you take good care of them. And what I did is I bought these two classic colors from Aritzia, so a black and an off-white one because I know they will just always be on style. However, like I said, I do own other trousers in other colors like khaki and gray, but what I did is I went for a cheaper option elsewhere, that way I'm not breaking the bank to have more colors. Though I would say the effortless pants from Aritzia are totally worth it if you stick with neutral and classic colors that you will be able to wear for years to come. Last but not least, I wanted to talk about these Converse I got recently because I'm so in love with them. These are actually the first pairs I ever bought in my life because I felt they weren't really my style when I was younger, but now I'm so sold on them. They're perfect to complete any casual look as they're comfortable, stylish, and can be paired with jeans to dresses. I love the platform ones, they're really trendy right now and super comfy to walk in. I really think they are a must because like I said, they literally go with everything, especially if you take them in neutral colors like black and white. You can wear them with shorts, dresses, skirts. They are my go-tos now for any everyday outfit when I don't know what shoes to wear. They are also not that expensive. I got this white pair for $90 and this black pair for even cheaper at $65 because I found them in the kids section. Converse are made big so most people recommend to go half a size down but I personally had to go a full size down. And because I have pretty small feet, I was able to get the black ones in the kids section. I was actually also looking for the white ones in the kids section, but they were just not available. You can see they are a little bit different design wise. The platform on these white ones are just a little bit higher, but the overall look stays the same. So if you don't really mind and you have small feet like me, looking in the kids section is a great hack to save money. So these were all my current favorite basics. I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much for watching. Investing in good basics is so worth it. Trust me, I learned this the hard way. I know literally every fashion blogger says this, and I remember always being like, eh, it's just a plain white tee. Why would I buy an expensive one when there are so many cheap ones that look the same? But they're not the same. They don't look the same when you wear them, and they just don't last. If you enjoyed this video and you would like for me to share more gems I find with you, don't forget to like this video and subscribe subscribe to my channel to stay updated on my latest fashion and style tips. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!